While Boston Dynamics still keeps Atlas locked in the lab, showing off yearly concept demos that never hit the market. While Tesla keeps reintroducing Optimus with new hands and a walk that still looks uncertain, there's one company that turned every headline into a milestone, Unitree Robotics. From G1 Robot doing backflips to H1 Robot winning gold at the World Robot Marathon. From G1's Kung Fu fights that broke the internet to B1 Robodogs waterproof marching straight through storms. From a $90,000 prototype to a $6,000 humanoid that made Time's best inventions list. Unitree didn't chase the future, they outran it. In just two years, they've built the fastest, cheapest, and most accessible robot ecosystem on Earth. Humanoids that run, dogs that climb, and AI that learns on the move. This isn't a concept anymore. It's a revolution in motion. Hey guys, Alfie here. Let's start with the robot that made Time Magazine's best inventions of 2025 list. Yeah, you read that right. This little machine earned a spot alongside the year's most groundbreaking tech. Time called it an ultra-agile humanoid that's finally bringing those sci-fi dreams into actual reality. Meet the Unitree R1, a compact robot that stands barely four feet tall. With 26 joints allowing shadowboxing combos, brisk jogging, and even cartwheels, the R1 moves with a fluidity that makes you forget you're watching metal and circuits. But here's where it gets absolutely bonkers. Unitree launched this technological marvel for around $6,000. $6,000. For context, their earlier H1 model cost 90 grand. Most humanoid robots run you well into six figures. The R1 just shattered that barrier into a million pieces. It's designed specifically for researchers, educators, and developers who want to experiment with humanoid AI without selling a kidney. The robot comes loaded with voice recognition, image processing, and built-in multimodal AI that lets it interact and learn autonomously right out of the box. Unitree's CEO Wang Xingxing boldly predicts the R1 will become the world's best-selling humanoid robot in 2026. That's not hype. That's a calculated bet that accessible robotics will explode when the price tag drops from luxury yacht territory to decent used sedan range. By making capable bipedal robots accessible to universities, tech hobbyists, and small companies, Unitree is accelerating humanoid research and adoption at a pace nobody predicted. The company markets it as ultra lightweight and fully customizable, essentially a robotic companion you can adapt to countless tasks. Their philosophy? Movement comes first. Once you have a robot that can move diversely and robustly, you can teach it anything. If the R1 is impressive, the G1 is absolutely mind-blowing. Enter the Unitree G1, the Kung Fu master that broke the internet in early 2025. This compact bot weighs 77 pounds, making it smaller and more agile than its predecessors. This month, Unitree dropped a software update they called the Kung Fu Kid version 6.0. The demonstration video went absolutely viral. G1 became the world's first humanoid robot to nail a kip-up. That insanely difficult move where you flip from lying flat on your back to standing upright in one explosive motion. Gymnasts train for years to master that. G1 learned it through algorithm tweaks. But the crazy part? That same video showed G1 flowing through Tai Chi sequences alongside a human partner with eerie grace. When someone kicked it from behind, the robot instantly regained balance without breaking stride. But here's where the G1 story gets even wilder. Unitree released an anti-gravity mode update in late 2025 that fundamentally changed how resilient this robot could be. Engineers demonstrated this feature the old-fashioned way, by literally beating the crap out of it. They kicked the G1 in the chest, shoved it violently, even knocked it completely to the ground. The robot absorbed every hit and sprang back to its feet almost immediately. We're talking about depth cameras and LiDAR sensors allowing the G1 to sense a fall in real time and adjust its center of gravity before hitting the ground. Powerful motors in each joint provide the torque to counteract pushes or slips. Observers watched this robot get absolutely pummeled in demonstrations, noting how it bent its knees and exploded upward to recover from knockdowns or how a sideways kick barely phased it as it deftly stepped wide to stabilize. For industrial and lab applications, this adaptability is crucial. 
A robot that doesn't fall over under pressure means better safety and less downtime. The G1 even competed in a humanoid robot half marathon in April 2025. The nimble bot impressively managed long distance running, though it did take a tumble mid-race, highlighting ongoing challenges with stability over uneven terrain. Would you trust a robot that can kick, flip, and fight back? Drop awesome if you love it, or scary if it's too much. And if you think that stumble was concerning, wait until you hear what happened with the bigger, more powerful H1 model when it entered competitive races and factory tests. Now let's talk about the robot that started it all and the controversies that followed. The Unitree H1 is the granddaddy of this robot family. The company's first full-size general-purpose humanoid unveiled in 2023. Standing nearly six feet tall and weighing about 100 pounds, this machine became the first humanoid in China capable of running, hitting speeds around 11 feet per second with potential for even faster bursts. During the 2024 Lunar New Year, 16 H1 robots danced traditional Yangay folk routines alongside human performers at China's Spring Festival Gala, one of the nation's most watched TV events. That synchronized performance between humans and humanoids marked a cultural milestone that mainstream media couldn't stop talking about. Then H1 became the first ever full-sized humanoid to land a clean backflip. Not a assisted flip, not a lucky tumble. A controlled, powered backflip showcasing balance and strength that seemed impossible just years ago. In 2025, H1 competed in the World Humanoid Robot Games in Beijing, basically Robot Olympics with over 500 robots from 16 countries. Unitree's H1 dominated the inaugural 1,500-meter humanoid sprint, taking first place and even third place in that race. H1 clocked 6 minutes 34 seconds for the distance, roughly double the human world record but still a remarkable robotic achievement. That victory earned H1 the first gold medal of the Games and set a new benchmark for humanoid athletics. But here's where things got dark and honestly kind of hilarious in a disturbing way. During that gold medal race, an H1 unit collided with a human staffer on the track and just kept running without missing a beat. The incident looked like a literal robotic hit and run caught on camera. The robot knocked a person down and raced straight to victory while the human lay on the ground. Social media absolutely exploded. One user quipped that H1 didn't even stop to check if the human was okay, joking about Asimov's first law of robotics. Others joked Unitree programmed H1 to win at any cost, maybe taking out competitor team members as strategy. The post-race investigation revealed human error, not robot malice. H1 was being partly remote controlled for stability, and during the handover between operators, nobody reacted fast enough to steer the bot around a person who wandered too close. CEO Wang Xingxing explained they opted for manual control to push H1's speed, a decision they won't repeat. He noted wryly that the human operators were utterly exhausted trying to keep pace with their own robot. Despite celebrating the expected victory, the incident raised serious questions about safety protocols during human-robot interactions. That wasn't H1's only scary moment. Mid-2025 viral footage showed an H1 suspended by a support crane suddenly malfunctioning and violently flailing its arms and legs without control. The black-bodied humanoid swung wildly, dragging its heavy stand and knocking over nearby equipment, while an engineer rushed to unplug it. The scene looked terrifyingly like a robot attacking its handlers. Twitter, YouTube, and Reddit exploded with sensational titles about an AI robot going berserk. Unitree quickly analyzed the issue and updated firmware. Be honest, would you stand next to a robot that can sprint faster than most people? Here's what makes all this so significant. Unitree's trio of robots, H1 the pioneer, G1 the acrobat, R1 the accessible newcomer, represents a breakthrough period for humanoid robotics. These aren't just technical achievements, they're cultural moments. And just when you think Unitree's done revolutionizing humanoids, they drop a lineup of four-legged machines that move like living creatures. Because Unitree doesn't see robots as humanoid versus dogbot. They see one ecosystem, legs, arms, and AI all learning together. If H1, G1, and R1 are built for human spaces, their four-legged siblings are built for every place humans can't reach. From labs to disaster zones to your own living room, 
these quadrupeds are rewriting what mobility means for machines. Now legs on four corners. Unitree's consumer slash education line is anchored by Go2, the robot dog that became a social media star for good reason. It's about 70 centimeters long, approximately 33.1 pounds, 15 kilograms with battery, and it moves with surprising speed and grace. The base model starts near $1,600, which is wild for something with this much capability. Top speed hovers around five meters per second in lab conditions, and endurance stretches to two to four hours thanks to a bigger battery. Go2 can clamber up slopes, step over 15 centimeter obstacles, self right set if it tumbles, and even pull off aerial flips in controlled demos. The upgrade that quietly changes everything is the built-in 4D LiDAR L1, a 360 by 90 degree view of the world that makes mapping and obstacle avoidance feel two generations smarter. Unitree calls the recognition jump 200% over the previous gen, and out in the wild you see it. The robot remembers paths, threads through crowded spaces, and follows you with a steady side follow that seems almost polite. Hot take. Would you let Go2 follow you in a busy street? Yes or no? Comment below. Type yes if you'd try it, no if it's too creepy. Give one reason. There's a sibling with a twist. Go 2 W. Same body plan. But each leg can wear a powered wheel. On a hallway or a paved lot, it rolls with ease. Faster, quieter, more efficient. Hit stairs or rocks and it locks the wheels, plants its feet, and climbs like a normal quadruped. It's not meant to carry people. Payload lives in the single-digit kilograms. Good for cameras, sensors, or a small robotic arm. What you gain is range and speed on flat ground without giving up the Go Anywhere promise. If you go back a generation, you meet Go One, the model that put Unitree on the home robot dog map. It introduced their surround sensor system for 360 degree awareness, popularized that buttery side follow, and hit a sweet spot of price and capability for labs and makers wanting a test bed on legs. And if you rewind further, there was Unitree Go, a special early consumer edition Unitree used to test the market before Go1 and Go2 took over. Each step kept the same idea. Make legged mobility feel normal. Lycago deserves a nod here. The OG Unitree quadruped that launched back in 2017. It was the proof of possibility. A relatively affordable, research-ready robot that could take shoves, walk slopes, and handle rough patches when most affordable bots were still struggling on carpet. It's been discontinued, replaced by smarter, stronger models, but Lycago set the tone. Smaller company, serious legs. Time for the heavy-duty beast, B2. Think of it as a four-legged power tool, weighing 132.3 pounds, 60 kilograms. It sprints over six meters per second and jumps gaps wider than 1.5 meters. It steps over 40 centimeter blocks, climbs 45 degree stairs, and keeps working for hours because you can swap its two batteries on the go. In simple terms, long staircases don't scare it and it doesn't need a break. It carries real gear, 88.2 pounds, 40 kilograms while walking. So cameras, tools, even emergency kits ride along. Long, smooth floors? Use B2W with wheels on each leg. Rough ground? Switch back to legs. This one is built for real jobs, not just demos. Next up is B1, the tough older brother. It's sealed for dust and water, IP68, so you'll see it walking through rain and puddles like it's no big deal, climbing stairs with a fire hose on its back and trotting over rocks without drama. It showed the world a robot dog could handle bad weather and still reach the upper floors when the elevator is down. Wonder which one swims. This is the one that wades in and keeps working. A two lives in the middle. Unitree calls it the Stellar Explorer. It's all about balance. In one demo, a person stands on its back while it hops in place, and it stays steady. You can swap batteries fast, and it works in heat, cold, and dust. Pick A2 when you need more muscle than Go2, but don't need the full B2 power. Alien Go is the quick scout. Smaller than the B series, it slips around pipes, peeks into tight spaces, and carries a small sensor kit at a jog. If you care more about agility than heavy loads, Alien Go is your pick. Moving is only half of the story. 
Robots also need arms. Unitree Z1 is the go-to arm. Light, easy to mount, about 9.9 .9 pounds, 4.5 kilograms, and very precise. It has a soft touch, so tasks like wiping, plugging in a cable, or pushing a button are safe and smooth. The price is friendly too, often far lower than old school cobots. On a robot dog, Z1 means walk there, do this in one system. For telepresence and data collection, the D1T kit is clever. You get two super light arms with grippers, about 5.2 pounds, 2.37 kilograms each, and a station where a person moves master arms and the robot copies the motion. There's even a forearm version. Each arm lifts about 1.1 pounds, 0.5 kilograms, which is plenty for switches, tools, and wires. The prices are friendly for robots, under $8,500 for two arms, under $16,000 for four. It's great for research, risky sites, and teaching AI with clean demos. Hands are where things get cool. DEX 3-1 is a three-finger hand with tiny touch sensors, 33 of them. It doesn't just hold, it feels. If something starts to slip, it knows and tightens its grip. It's light, easy to control, and a smart step for labs that want real dexterity without a huge price. When you want human-like moves, use DEX 5-1. It has five fingers, 20 moving joints, and 94 touch sensors. It weighs about 2.2 pounds, one kilogram. That means real grasps, precise pinches, and safer give when it gets bumped. This is the hand for tasks that need feel, not just grab and drop. Put it together and the plan is simple. Humanoids for human spaces, robot dogs for tough ground, arms and hands to do the job. Need raw humanoid power? H1 is the showcase. Want a robot you can teach and even box for fun? Pick G1. Want a budget-friendly humanoid for a school or small lab? Start with R1. On four legs, Go2 is the easy pick for learning and testing, and the price can beat a high-end laptop on sale. Need hallway speed and range? Go2 W adds wheels for smooth rolling but still does stairs. For rough sights, pick B2, the fast, strong all-rounder. Got rain and puddles? B1's water-ready build is still the clearest proof unitary designs for real-world mess. A 2 and Alien Go sit in the middle, flexible, tough, and great, when agility matters more than carrying huge loads. Two quick points to end on. Access speeds everything up. When a $5,900 humanoid exists, thousands more people can try ideas that once needed a grant. More testers means more bugs found, more edge cases, and more crazy ideas turning into normal features next year. Also, movement isn't enough. Robots need hands. Unitree's arms and touch-sensing hands close the loop. A dog that climbs stairs or a humanoid that runs is cool. A robot that climbs the stairs, opens a cabinet, feels the socket, and plugs in the charger. That's useful. Speed round. Fastest on four legs? B2 over six meters per second. Fastest two-leg runner? H1, close to a casual jog. Which one swims? B1. It wades and works in water. IP68. Which one boxes? G1, the crowd favorite. Want to start today? Grab a Go2 or an R1 and climb the ladder. Final scene. A humanoid and a robot dog roll into a site. The dog takes the stairs with a Z1 arm on its back. The humanoid snaps on a DEX 5-1 hand and finishes the job. That's not sci-fi anymore. It's the next update. If you're ready for part two, type ready in the comments and tell me which unitree you want to see in action.